Forget the crinkle crunch, the only thing being served up at council meetings now is the credit crunch. Officials might have plenty of hobnobbing to do round the table, but it seems the biscuit bill was custard creaming off too much from the budget. A bit outrageous, because they probably have very fancy biscuits. Like I say, should have rich tea. <laughs> but no, not very happy with Salford Council, personally. I don't think they spend the money as wisely as they could. Ridiculous, isn't it? You're ridiculous when you think the state of the country's in and they're spending that amount on biscuits. I can't believe that. I can't, honestly. I am appalled. <laughs> Not rich tea or anything like that. Hobnobs. I bet they get chocolate ones as well. Don't surprise me. But no, they don't even do anything at meetings anyway. What do they do for us? They don't do anything. In future, officials here will have to make do without their complimentary refreshments at meetings. So that means there'll be no chocolate digestives while they digest their latest agenda item. It's estimated that'll save £30,000. Now that's a lot of biscuits, but the cutbacks don't stop there. Not planting bulbs in civic parks and gardens will save £40,000. Printing fewer agenda papers will save £5,000. A staff canteen will be closed, saving another £16,000. This is all part of a much bigger plan to save, in total, £12 million. Anything to save money, yeah. I'd spend it wisely, yeah. yeah. But uh, this council, uh, they do what they want anyway, more or less. To me, it is a waste of money. That we're short enough, the country's short enough, this council's short of money and to uh, keep supplying biscuits. You can have a cup of tea, talk about it and get out, get the job done. So if you're a Salford councillor and you are partial to the odd Gary Baldy or even a Jaffa cake, you might say this takes the biscuit. Sadly, it seems that's just the way the cookie crumbles. James Webster, Channel M Today.